Hello, everybody, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and we are officially back. I know it's been a few days since you've had a new episode. It's been even longer since you've had an episode talking about Taylor Swift news and all the updates going on in the world. I was off for a few days, but now I am officially back, and we're going to get into the Taylor Swift news that we haven't discussed yet. We're going to get into a little bit of the Eras tour coming up, which songs is are is she going to sing? Is she going to add into the set list? Will she add any new songs to the set list? We have a lot to discuss, so let's dive right in. Okay, so obviously we talked about this last week many a time, but now we officially have confirmation because it happened last night that Taylor Swift was not at the Met Gala. We all knew this. You knew this. I knew this. She was not there. Honestly, Kind of felt like the Met Gala, maybe it was just myself, but felt like it was a little bit underwhelming. Didn't really love a lot of the looks, didn't really love a lot of what was going on at the Met Gala. Some people looked amazing, but I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite, wasn't my favorite theme, I feel, which I think translated to the outfits and the looks that we saw. But Taylor, again, was not there. Travis also wasn't there. It's been a big weekend for Travis Kelsey. He was at the Kentucky Derby on Saturday. He then went to the F1 race in Miami on Sunday. Taylor was not with Travis for any of those big events because Taylor has reportedly already gone across the pond to Europe, to Paris, to prepare for her tour, which starts up in just two days. I cannot believe we're already, I mean, I'm acting like I'm going back on tour, but we are heading back on tour with Taylor Swift in just a couple of days, which is going to be great because when Taylor Swift goes back on tour, we always get so much great content. I love dissecting her her shows, her performances. I, I love anticipating the surprise songs that she's going to sing, who's going to show up. I also feel like because She's going to be in Europe the entire summer. We're going to get so many celebrity guests at these shows. Like it's, there's just going to be a lot to talk about and a lot to go over. So like I said a million times, if you love Taylor Swift and you especially love dissecting and breaking down her era's tour shows, then you need to subscribe to our channel because we will be breaking it down every single week as she travels across the European country. Um, and gives us amazing, fantastic, wonderful shows, which is going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So as I mentioned, Travis had a big weekend. I feel like Travis is probably going to be in Paris this weekend for her shows, at least a couple of them. Um, He, I think he mentioned in an interview maybe a few months ago that Paris was one of the shows that he was really anticipating. Um, So I think it's pretty safe to say that we'll see him at some shows this weekend, which is always fun. It's always fun to watch Travis Kelsey at a Taylor Swift concert because that man just always has a great time. Always, always enjoys himself. Taylor, as I mentioned, she's preparing for her show, but she's also on the back end of releasing a very, very successful album in the Torture Poets department. And the Torture Poets department uh, is on top of the Billboard Hot or Top 200 chart yet again for another week in a row. So despite the fact that there's been, I don't know if you want to say the album is, has been like mixed or the reception has been kind of like, some people love it, some people don't. I definitely don't think it's like one of her most beloved albums, at least as of right now, but there's no denying how successful it's been, how much, how many people are actually tuning in, listening, And really, whenever Taylor Swift releases an album, it's an event and everybody pays attention and everybody listens at least one time through. So the album is still going strong. And I have to say for myself, as somebody who like a lot of songs right off the bat, but like was definitely, I don't even want to say I was mixed. I liked the album on first listen, but I wouldn't have put it in like my top five Taylor albums of all time. And I still don't think I would, or at least not yet. I do think you need some time and perspective to like be able to accurately make your top 10 ranking or top 11 now, I guess, because she has 11 albums. But I will say, and I'm curious if other people feel this way too, some of these songs have grown on me so much in the last couple of weeks. Songs that I like barely listened to or didn't really pay attention to and Initially, I'm like, oh, I love this song. This is such a great song. Or I'm, I'm like 
finding new ways to kind of connect with these songs that maybe I didn't love as much initially, which has been really great. And I think because the album is so long, it's 31 songs, you really can like kind of create your own album within the album. Like I find that there's like 15, 16 songs that I like really, really like, and I can kind of create my own personalized album within the album, which is fun and it's great. So I'd be curious to know like what song you maybe didn't love as much initially and then now you're really into because I feel like a lot of people are kind of having that revelation where they're realizing, oh, actually, I really like this song or actually I really like this album when I didn't think I did initially. So anyway, congrats to Taylor for still just like continuing to dominate the charts and just break records left and right because you're doing an amazing job. So as we said, Taylor's reportedly already in Europe preparing for her tour. Makes sense, right? She hasn't been on tour for a couple of months. Um, There's obviously been reports, discussion, rumors that she's going to be adding the Torture Poets era to the era's tour, which of course would, would require more prep work, working with her dancers, sound checking. Like there's just more to kind of prepare for because you're doing something you're, you're, you're adding something new that hadn't been there before. I do want to go in a bit. I'm going to go through some of the songs that I think she's going to perform as part of the Torture Poets Department era, um, because I do think she's probably going to do like three or four songs from the album on tour. But I have this other theory, and I'd be curious what other people think. Because we've gotten, so we, all, we obviously have had, Taylor's been on tour, or her tour started over a year ago, and she toured the States, she went to South America, she went to Australia, she went to Asia, like she's done a lot of the world with the quote unquote original Eras tour. She obviously filmed the tour, she put out the, the, the tour movie in theaters, it's now on Disney Plus, like everybody has been able to watch the Eras tour. They've been able to see it. Even if you haven't been able to go to a show yet, you've been able to watch it on on TV. There's nothing left to like. Everyone can see every song she's performed, all that stuff. There's no secrets left. Not that there even was an initially because the second she performed her first show was all over the internet, but like it's out there. It's everywhere. So there's a part of me that kind of wonders, and maybe this is just my delusional brain, but there's a part of me that wonders like, is she going to completely revamp the show. Is there a world in which the show that we get on Thursday in Paris is going to be very different than the show we got before? And and I feel like that is kind of open-ended because it might be different just because she adds a new era, but there's a part of me that wonders like, will she just totally change things up? Like, will she add in songs from other eras that she hasn't performed yet? Will she take other songs out? Will she like mix up the eras in which she performs? Because there's a part of me that feels like, and I don't know why I'm putting so much weight on the movie, but I feel like when you put out a movie of your tour, it's almost, most artists do that at the end of their tour. Like when their tour is finished, they put out the the movie. And I don't know why there's just a part of me that, that that's like, it would be so Taylor Swift to come back on tour and to just be like, you thought you knew what you were getting, but actually it's not going to be that anymore. Obviously that would, that would require a lot of work, a lot of preparation, a lot of like rehearsing. I mean, her show is three hours long. Like that would be a lot. So I'm not anticipating like a full and complete like change up. Like she's going to start the show with ready for it instead of cruel summer or whatever, but it wouldn't shock me if we get more surprises than we're anticipating. Like, and also for Taylor's sake to like keep the show fresh, to like, to make room for her new era, like to kind of revamp it in a way I could see her changing things up. And it could be something as simple as like mashing up three songs and kind of like making three songs into one song in order to like make room for other things she wants to do. Like I could see her kind of like tweaking the show in lots of different ways in order to just, again, keep it fresh, to make room for her new stuff, whatever. Anyway, it's just a theory I wanted to throw out there to see if other people have the same theory. We'll figure it out. We'll we'll know for certain Thursday uh, when she performs her, her first show back on tour. I think it's Thursday, right? I hope it's Thursday. Um, and I just can't wait. Speaking of the new era, Torture Poets Department era, that I think we pro- probably all now know she's going to 
add to the show. Here are the songs I think she's going to perform. I think she will definitely do Fortnite because it's a single and it just makes sense. I think she will also do I Can Do It With A Broken Heart, which is uh, it's an, an ironic song for her to sing live in a concert because the whole point of the song is that I'm she was having a hard time. She was dealing with a broken heart, but she had to go up on stage every single night and perform for a crowd of people and put on a brave, happy face, even though she was dying inside. And so it's it would be funny for her to like then perform that and for the crowd to, sh- to like shout more and all that stuff. It just, it would be very ironic, but that song is done super well on streaming. People love that song. It's also like a fun song. So I could see her singing that. I also think um, she could do my boy only breaks his f- favorite toys. Cause that song has been super pop- popular. And then it wouldn't shock me if she did down bad or, but daddy, I love him. Like, I, I think ultimately she'll do three or four songs. That's my guess. Um, I'd love to know what songs you think she'll perform. And also, do you think, again, I kind of mentioned this earlier, but like, will she cut some songs? Because I could see her cutting off a little bit of Evermore and Folklore. I could see her trimming like one or two songs from each of those eras to make room for Torture Poets Department era or mashing up some songs together to kind of make things up a bit shorter. It wouldn't also shock me if she cuts some songs from other eras. Like maybe she takes off a song from Midnight. Maybe she takes off a song from Lover. W- wouldn't shock me, but um, I think she needs to cut a little bit if she's going to add some more songs. Cause again, the tour is already three hours, three plus hours long. Like she needs to take care of her body because that's a lot to handle. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited for the surprise songs. We're obviously going to get, she's going to sing Paris in Paris one of the uh, of the nights, which is always going to be great. Can't wait for that. And I'm just excited. I'm just excited to see her back on tour um, to follow, follow along. It's always fun. And, you know, we're going to get more Travis and Taylor content, more of her friends. She's just going to have a nice hot girl summer in Europe. And I, for one, cannot wait to watch it. So that is that for today's show. I'm so happy to be back talking with all of you people. Let me know if there's anything I missed, anything else you want us to discuss, but we'll be back and better than ever and can't wait for Eras Tour to come back so soon. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.